Hello, and welcome to Storytime Adventures, where we tell stories for kids. I'm your host, Jackie, and I'm excited to share a new story with you today. Whether you're listening with your family at home or on a road trip like we often do, we hope our stories spark your imagination and take you on an adventure. Without pictures to guide us, using your imagination is like having a magic paintbrush, where the pictures in your mind are often more vivid and wondrous than any picture on a page. Before we begin, we want to give a big shout out to our listeners. Thank you for tuning in and supporting our podcast. If you enjoy our show, please leave us a review on your favorite podcast platform and share it with your family and friends. Stay tuned after the show for a fun activity that you can do with your family and friends that's connected to science, math, reading, or writing. Now sit back and relax and let your imagination take flight. We're excited to share this adventure with you. The King and His Pigs, a tale of transformation and wisdom. Once upon a time in a far off land, there was a king named Harold. King Harold was known for being large and round with a face that resembled a pig's snout. Despite his appearance, King Harold loved to eat bacon and he would have it served to him at every meal if he could. Unfortunately, the kingdom didn't have any pigs, only chickens. One day, King Harold summoned his advisors to the court and declared, I am tired of eating chicken every day. I want bacon. The advisors exchanged glances, unsure of how to respond, but then the king had an idea. I know. I will hire a wizard to turn my chickens into pigs. The advisors were skeptical. Your majesty, I don't think that's how magic works. One of them said, but King Harold was adamant. I don't care. Find me a wizard who can turn my chickens into pigs. The advisors searched high and low, and eventually they found a wizard who claimed he could do the job. The wizard arrived at the castle and was immediately taken to see the king. Your majesty, I can turn your chickens into pigs. The wizard said, How? Asked the king. It's simple. I'll just use my magic to transform them. As long as two things are similar, the magic will work. The wizard replied, But they're not even the same animal, said one of the advisors with a worrying tone. And so King Harold, determined to have his desired pigs, gave the wizard permission to begin the transformation. With a wave of his wand, the wizard unleashed his magic upon the chickens. As the enchantment took hold, a curious transformation began to unfold. Feathers melted away, replaced by metal casings and clockwork mechanisms. Wings transformed into minute hands and beaks morphed into familiar ringers of alarm clocks. Soon the courtyard was filled with a jarring racket of ticking and ringing as the once clucking chickens now stood as an army of roosters, their synchronized alarms echoing through the castle walls. It was a surreal sight. The roosters lined up row by row, each one diligently performing their new role as timekeepers. King Harold's court was now filled with an orchestra of clattering gears and chiming bells as the roosters announced the passing hours with their unmistakable crowing. The king was both perplexed and annoyed, and he yearned for the taste of bacon. He hadn't anticipated a courtyard full of living alarm clocks. It seemed that in his pursuit of pork, King Harold had unwittingly invited chaos into his domain. King Harold was furious. What is this? I asked for pigs, not clocks. The wizard was taken aback. Your Majesty, I told you that I could only transform things that are similar. Chickens and pigs are not similar enough. The chickens turned into rooster alarm clocks because roosters act like alarm clocks, waking us up in the morning. I don't care. You said you could do it, so do it. The king shouted. The wizard sighed. Very well, your majesty. I will try a different spell, a more dangerous spell. But I warn you, the consequences could Dire. The king was too angry to listen. Just do it! 
The wizard closed his eyes, his brow furrowing in intense concentration as he tapped into the depths of his magical expertise. He visualized the essence of the king's chickens, their clucking and flapping wings resonated in his mind. With every ounce of his being, he directed his energy towards the task at hand, weaving intricate threads of transformation into the realms of possibility. As his focus intensified, a surge of magical energy flowed from the wizard, casting a glow around him. The air crackled with anticipation, as if nature itself held its breath in anticipation of the impending change. Then, with a jolt of power, the spell took hold. The rooster alarm clocks, those timekeeping companions that had taken on the form of roosters, trembling and shivering under the wizard's command. They seemed to vibrate with a newfound energy, each tick and ring resounding like a symphony in the air. The transformation unfolded in a wonderful dance of magic and form. Feathers melted away, revealing smooth, pigmented skin beneath. Beaks elongated and morphed into cute, rounded snouts. Wings receded, replaced by stubby legs that rooted the now shifting creatures into the ground. Their size diminished, and the once grand alarm clocks were reborn as tiny piglets. Amidst the beautiful swirl of energy, the sound of ticking and ringing slowly faded, replaced by the soft grunts and squeals of the newly formed piglets. The king watched in awe as the wizard's mastery over transformation materialized before their eyes. The piglets, each unique in their own way, radiated a sense of newfound life and innocence. They scampered and explored their surroundings, their curious snouts sniffing at the straw-covered floor of the pen. The king marveled at the delicate beauty of their transformation, witnessing the amazing magic. The wizard opened his eyes, the glimmer of satisfaction shining within their depths. He had succeeded in aligning the essence of the rooster alarm clocks with that of the pigs. King Harold was overjoyed. It worked! I have pigs! I will have bacon! but the wizard's face turned pale with fear. Your majesty, as I mentioned earlier, my magic can only transform things into similar objects. The other type of magic I used accomplished what you desired, but it requires drawing power from someone or something else. Because you chose this path, there will be additional consequences. The king looked puzzled. What do you mean? Suddenly, King Harold felt a strange sensation coursing through his body. He looked down in surprise as he noticed his clothes growing loose and baggy. His once robust figure began to shrink, and he felt himself getting smaller and smaller. The king's eyes widened with astonishment as he realized that he was shrinking. As the king's body continued to shrink, his magnificent robes trailed behind him like oversized rags. His crown, once proudly perched on his head, now seemed comically oversized. King Harold's voice even changed, becoming higher and more squeaky with each passing moment. The king looked down at himself in shock. What? What have you done to me? You have turned yourself into a pig, your majesty. The wizard replied. The king was furious. How dare you! Turn me back this instant! I'm sorry, your majesty, but I can't. I warned you that the consequences could be dire. You should have listened to me. The magic must take power from somewhere else. And the power came from you to make your pigs. In a few short moments, King Harold found himself no bigger than one of the adorable little piglets that had been created from the rooster alarm clocks. He looked around in shock, trying to comprehend his new reality. His once majestic presence had been replaced by the small, round figure of a pig. His golden crown now rested upon his snout, its jewels glinting in the light. His regal robes pooled around him, engulfing him like a colorful sea of fabric. The king's beady eyes blinked in disbelief as he realized the extent of his transformation. He was now a pig. King Harold squealed in anger and frustration, stomping his tiny trotters onto the floor. His advisors now towered over him and had to look down to meet his gaze. The wizard watched with a mix of concern and regret. He had warned the king about the dire consequences, but his warnings had fallen on deaf ears. 
Now, the king had learned the hard way that impatience and greed could lead to unexpected outcomes. As King Harold stormed out of the room, his rage echoed through the castle, mingling with his new pig sounds. The advisors stood there, unsure what to do next, their faces filled with a mixture of sympathy and worry. The wizard approached them, his expression grave. What do we do now? One of the advisors asked. The wizard sighed. I suppose you should learn from the mistakes of your king who acted like a greedy pig and so was turned into one. I tried to warn him. The wizard said sadly. The consequences of his impulsive desire for bacon have transformed him into what he desired most. The advisors nodded solemnly. Realizing the gravity of the situation, their once mighty king had become a symbol of the very thing he had craved, trapped in the form that represented his insatiable appetite. The castle, once filled with bustling activities of the grand court, now bore witness to a new reality. King Harold, now a tiny pig, would have to navigate his kingdom from a completely different perspective. The once respected ruler would need to find a way to reign with wisdom and compassion in his new form. And so King Harold's life took an unexpected turn, teaching him valuable lessons about humility, empathy, and the consequences of his actions. Though his size had diminished, his potential for growth as a ruler had the opportunity to flourish. In his poor seen state, he would strive to become a king who valued the well-being of all his subjects, not just his own desires. The kingdom waited on bated breath, curious to see how their king would adapt to his new circumstances. As the days passed, King Harold remained stuck in his pig form. He couldn't believe that he had been so foolish to trust the wizard and ignore his warning. One morning, as King Harold was wallowing in his pen, enjoying the warmth of the sun on his piggy back, he heard a faint rustling of sound nearby. Curiosity peaked. He lifted his snout and turned his gaze towards the source of the noise. To his astonishment, he saw a magnificent creature descending from the sky and gracefully landing in front of him. The creature was none other than the wizard himself, but he himself had undergone an enchanting transformation too. Now he stood before King Harold as a beautiful bird with feathers that shimmered in every color of the rainbow. His wings glowed with a magical aura, and his eyes sparkled with wisdom. King Harold oinked in surprise, his eyes wide with wonder. Wizard, is it truly you? He asked, his voice tinged with a mixture of disbelief and hope. The rainbow bird nodded gracefully, his beak curved into a wise smile. Yes, your majesty. It is I, the wizard, who facilitated your transformation into a pig. I have come to assist you and offer a gift. The king's piggy heart fluttered with a mixture of anticipation and skepticism. What could you possibly do now? You have already transformed me into this pig form. The rainbow bird hopped closer his feathers rustling softly in the breeze. While I cannot turn you back into a human, I offer a unique gift. He explained. I can grant you the ability to communicate with animals of the kingdom. With your new pig form, you can speak their language and learn about their lives in a way you never could before. King Harold's eyes widened in surprise his snout twitching with intrigue. Communicate with animals? How would that help me? The rainbow bird cocked his head, a mischievous glint in his eye. Ah, your majesty, the animals have much to teach us. By understanding their perspectives and sharing in their experiences, you will gain a newfound wisdom and empathy that will make you a better ruler. The king pondered the bird's words, his mind filled with a mixture of doubt and curiosity. After a moment of contemplation, he nodded slowly. Very well, wizard. I will trust your words and give this a chance. With a joyful trill, the rainbow bird extended his wings, gently touching the king's snout. In that instant, a surge of energy flowed through King Harold, enveloping him in a warm and tingling sensation. 
The world around him seemed to shift, and suddenly he found himself equipped with the extraordinary ability to understand and communicate with all the creatures of his kingdom. With that, the wizard flew away, leaving the king alone with his thoughts. At first, King Harold was angry and resentful towards the wizard not being able to turn him back into a human, but eventually he decided to take the wizard's advice and try to communicate with the other animals. To his surprise, as King Harold began conversing with the animals of his kingdom, he discovered a world filled with untold stories, hidden struggles, and unspoken dreams. The animals eagerly share their tales, their voices resonating with sincerity and vulnerability. The wise old owl, perched high in the ancient oak tree, recounted his countless nights of watching over the kingdom. He spoke of the challenges he faced, deciphering the secrets of the night and providing guidance to lost travelers. Through his stories, the king learned the importance of patience, observation, and the power of wisdom. The graceful deer, with her delicate steps and gentle eyes, shared her encounters with the perils of the forest. She described narrow escapes from hungry predators and the endurance required to find food and shelter for her fawns. From her stories, King Harold discovered the significance of resilience, adaptability, and the bond of family. The mischievous squirrels, with their nibbled acrobatics and playful antics, entertained the king with the tales of their misadventures. They spoke of stolen acorns, daring leaps from tree to tree, and the thrill of outsmarting their rivals. Through their stories, the king learned the importance of lightheartedness, resourcefulness, and the joy of simple pleasures. The loyal and diligent ants shared their tales of tireless work and unwavering dedication to their colony. They recounted the challenges of gathering food, building intricate tunnels, and safeguarding their queen. From their stories, King Harold discovered the virtues of unity, perseverance, and the strength that comes from cooperation. The majestic horse, with its flowing mane and gentle eyes, shared stories of freedom and companionship. It spoke of galloping through the open fields, forming unbreakable bonds with its human riders and the harmony found in the rhythm of hoofbeats. Through these stories, the king learned the importance of trust, loyalty, and the beauty of shared experiences. With each encounter and every story shared, King Harold's perspective expanded. He realized that his kingdom was not just a realm to be ruled, but a tapestry woven by the lives and the experiences of all of its inhabitants. The animal stories awakened him in a deep sense of empathy and compassion. No longer driven by his insatiable desire for bacon, King Harold dedicated himself to creating a harmonious coexistence between humans and animals. He enacted laws to protect the natural habitants of his animal subjects, fostering an environment where every creature could thrive. He encouraged the people of his kingdom to treat the animals with kindness and respect, recognizing their intrinsic value and the interconnectedness of all living beings. As time passed, King Harold's reign became known as the Golden Era, where the bonds between humans and animals grew stronger than ever before. The kingdom flourished under his wise rule, and the stories of his compassion and understanding spread far and wide. And so, the once greedy, short-sighted king had transformed into a leader who cherished the diversity and richness of life. He learned that true fulfillment lies not in indulging in one's desires, but in embracing the interconnectedness of all creatures and finding harmony within oneself and the world around. The tale of the pig turned king and his encounters with the animals became a cherished legend, passing down from generation to generation, reminding all who heard it of the profound lessons learned from the transformative power of empathy and understanding. As for the wizard, no one ever saw him again. Some say that he spread his wings and gracefully soared into the vibrant hues of the setting sun, vanishing into the realms of distant land. There, he embarked on new magical adventures, bestowing his wisdom and enchantment upon those who crossed his path. His legacy grew, and his name became whispered among the folklore of the mystical creatures. Others, however, believe that the wizard was not a real being, but a manifestation of King Harold's conscience a reflection of the consequences bought by greed and impatience. They considered him a powerful metaphor, serving as a reminder to the king and all who heard the tale that one's desire should be tempered with wisdom and consideration. 
Regardless of the truth, King Harold accepted the turn of events with a newfound humility and gratitude. He realized that the wizard's strange gift, even with its unintended consequences, had given him a rare opportunity for growth and self-discovery. King Harold embraced his life as a pig with newfound appreciation for the beauty of the world around him. He reveled in the warm rays of the sun on his back as he roamed in the lush meadows, shared heartfelt conversations with animal friends, and found joy in the simplest pleasures. Rolling in the cool mud, grazing on succulent roots, and basking in the companionship of his fellow creatures. And so, the tale of King Harold, the king turned pig, lived on as a testament to the transformative power of humility and the importance of learning from one's mistakes. His story served as a reminder to all who heard it that true happiness lies not in material wealth or power, but in embracing the simple joys of life, cultivating empathy, and cherishing the interconnectedness of all beings. And thus, as the story drew to a close, the kingdom thrived under King Harold's rule, its people living in harmony with the animals, and the king himself finding contentment and purpose in his unique existence. The End We've provided a link in the podcast description to download a free activity booklet that complements this story. The booklet offers a range of activities to deepen your engagement with the story. A math and reading activity is included. Additionally, there's a fun STEM engineering design challenge where you can create, test, and improve your own creation. We hope you enjoy these activities and have fun exploring the themes and ideas of this story. Don't forget to click on the link in the podcast description to download your free copy today. Hey kids, it's time for some jokes. We hope our story today sparked your imagination and took you on an exciting adventure. But before we go, we have some jokes that are sure to make you laugh. What move did the karate pig like most? I don't know. The pork chop. Why did the pig put a blanket on the ground? To have a picnic. (laughs) What do piglets do after school? Their ham work. How do pigs write secret messages? With invisible oink. (laughs) That's it for today's story on Storytime Adventures. We hope you enjoyed listening as much as we enjoyed telling it. We love it when our listeners share their projects and activities related to the story. So be sure to tag us at Storytime Adventures Podcast on social media. If you have any feedback or suggestions for future stories, please reach out to us at StorytimeAdventuresPodcast at gmail.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our podcast on your favorite platform so you never miss an episode. Join us again next time for another exciting adventure. Until then, keep exploring, keep imagining, and keep dreaming big. Thanks for listening.